I'm like, sis, are you serious? You ain't got no meat on your bones. And you talking about losing, get back in shape. I'm like, girl, do you see me? Do you see all of this? Do you see all of this? I need to get back in shape and get back in the gym. Trent said I got style for you. Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Take one loss, no one's around for you. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop. No, 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 no. no. I won't stop. Okay, now this is how I lost four pounds within four weeks. So that basically I lost a pound a week, okay? Now, before I started my weight loss journey, I am a girl that loves food. Food, food, food. All kinds of breads and not right carbs. And I drink a lot of sodas and pop. I had a lot of dedicates, fruit snacks, all kinds of snacks for a big girl you know you know what i'm saying so i love them all and i'm a girl that loves food i love food period okay don't mess with me with my food <laughs> but um the reason why i had changed the way i want to eat now because i was told i was starting to have high borderline high blood pressure whatever you want to call it and i had borderline i i still got borderline cholesterol um, I was checked last month around the 24th and they said, well, well, she told me, my doctor told me, if I don't lower my cholesterol or make any changes to my diet, then I will be put on cholesterol pills to lower my cholesterol. So they give me a chance to lower my cholesterol. And I thought today would be the day for me to recheck. She said, no, we can't recheck you because it's been a month. It's going to take months for me to probably like three or four months for me to bring it down and um before they recheck it again so uh so the things that i had to change was my eating habits i cut off i cut off all sodas even juices now i do have like i was drinking smoothies fruit smoothies and green smoothies i used to be a, a heavy coffee drinker as well and um I still have headaches because I think I'm having a caffeine withdrawal. So um, I was told to take a, cu a cup of coffee a day or whatever to slowly wing off of it. But um, yeah, so I had took away the, co the, the coffee. I need to get back on it just one cup a day so these headaches can go away. Um, I don't drink the pops no more. Um, if I feel like a uh, feeling of wanting a pop was soda, <laughs> let's say pop. I will get like a ginger ale. Now, ginger ale is like a supplement of my Coke and Pepsi or hardcore drinks. <laughs> I consider Coke Pepsi as hardcore because you know all the acid and the carbon monoxide and all that. So I will drink a ginger ale to fight that urge of me wanting a Coke. And I drink a ginger ale like once a week, once every blue moon or whatever. Well, basically once it once a week so because you know you have urges so you have to find something to supplement the urges so ginger ale is like my go-to if i want a, co a coat but um i drink water but my issue is now i need to drink more water if i drink more water i could have lost more than four pounds but i'm glad i lost four pounds period another thing i've done to lose weight is um i cut out fried foods Yes, your girl look you love some fried chicken, some fried fish, some fried anything fried. I love it. So I had to cut out fried foods because of the grease. Um, you know, cooking fried foods, the grease tends to get bad cholesterol as well. So I uh, eliminate the fried foods. I started baking my foods. Um, either bake or boil foods. I eat it. Now I still eat my spaghettis. You know, ground beef. I. I try to supplement ground beef with turkey meat. I don't like it because it's not, you gotta put a lot of seasoning in that thing. And I'm not, I like turkey bacon, 
which I have replaced the regular bacon with turkey bacon for my breakfast food. And um, I started adding spinach to my eggs in the morning. And um, that helps me a lot. Now I'm going to replace the butter with olive oil. I'm learning new things as I go as I lose this weight. So I'm letting y'all know now. Instead of using butter, even a little butter is not good for you. Try replacing the butter with olive oil, which I need to go get as we speak. Which is the reason why I'm at Walmart now. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna use olive oil. Um, and for lunch, I, t I eat a lot of greens. I love greens. Anything green, like a salad or spinach or stuff for kale. I haven't tried kale that much, but it's kale kind of strong to me, but I love salads, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage um any greens you know what i'm saying i love it i don't have no problems with vegetables i started including my fruits in my own diet as well um my fruits that i love to eat is oranges grapes sometimes strawberries and a few apples and bananas but i don't eat too much bananas uh, every day because some, some, for some reason, bananas tend to constipate me. I don't know why, but yeah. I'm, now, let me tell you, I'm not an expert of losing weight, y'all. I'm not an expert. I'm not a coach. I'm just letting y'all what I'm doing that made me lose the weight within four weeks. And I'm proud of myself. Because, like, after having my last set of twins, yes, I have two sets of twins. For those that are new to my channel, my, my name is Felicia. A.K.A. Felicia Michelle or A.K.A. Fifi. But anyway, y'all probably laughing at me. <laughs> anyway, after having my last set of twins, your girl was almost 300 pounds off top. So, after having them, I was surprised I lost, you know, 20 pounds of that. You know what I'm saying? And I was just stuck at 269 for a while. But then, going to the doctor, you know... I was at 264, but you know, I didn't know I was losing the weight, even though I wasn't trying to. But now, since it's becoming an issue for me, dealing with my cholesterol levels and my vitamin D, my vitamin D levels low, so I have to take, I, I, I am on medication for my vitamin D. I gotta take that for a while now, which I need to go pick up in a few minutes. But, um, yeah, like, since it's become a, a health issue for me, being overweight, I have been having leg problems and um, hands and feet sensation of burning. And I don't have diabetes. My blood pressure was getting high, but now it's back to normal, which is good. And um, since I've been having pain now, I just got fed up. And then when she told me I had high cholesterol, well not high, borderline high, I think my, I forgot what my numbers were. It was like two something, 250, two, 250, 260. Borderline, whatever the borderline numbers is, that's why I'm at. And my mom have issues with cholesterol too. Hers is high. She high cholesterol, supposed to be on medication, but she chose to do the natural way. They give her a chance to do the natural way to bring it down, or she have to take it. But me and her both are on the same weight journey, like to lose it and to maintain it, um, so we can have good cholesterol instead of bad cholesterol. But since that news, that's what made me, that's what woke me up really. Like, girl, I need to get your, you need to get your life. And I'm finna get my life. And I'm catching my life. And I'm so proud of myself for losing the four pounds. Even though it's been a struggle. Because, you know, you got skinny people out here. Nope. I don't have no hate towards the skinny people, okay? So let's not get it twisted. Um, you got skinny people out here talking about, girl, I didn't lose about five pounds. I haven't worked out since, you know, high school and stuff like that. I'm like, sis, are you serious? You ain't got no meat on your bones. And you talking about losing, get back in the shape. I'm like, girl, do you see me? Do you see all of this? Do you see all of this? I'm the one that need to get back in shape and get back in the gym. So I, it just kills me when people be t counting their calories. And that's what I need to be doing. Like they are healthy in shape, women. It makes me feel bad, like, dang, y'all feel bad about yourself? I, I made me feel worse, because, you know, I don't weigh, like, twice the size of them. And they're like this, and I'm like this. 
you know, whatever. I'm bigger than them. <laughs> but um, I'm like, I hate when people do that, but I don't let it make me feel down. I let it motivate me. Like, boom. I'ma get them. And I'll be I'll be happy for the weight that the size that they're in. I'm happy with the size I am now, but I want to get healthier. I want to continue to be doing the bad things that I'm doing now. So I'm learning as I go. That's why why I'm, I'm that's why I'm documenting this so I can let y'all know what I'm doing that can help y'all. So now to lose more weight. Now exercise. Now I only exercise three four days of this within the past four weeks. The exercise I was doing, I was doing YouTube exercise videos from Pop Sugar, I believe. And um I forgot the name. It's a it's a um African American woman to be proper. Um she do some type of like when you work like for you on for 30 seconds, then you take a 20 second break or a 10 second break, something like that. I forgot the name of it. But when I when I find it on YouTube, I'll let you know. I'll let y'all know in the next video. I do those videos. You know, for cardio and all that, you know, the slimming down that did help. And I work for, I work, uh, walk for 30 minutes. I said I work. <laughs> I try to walk for 30 minutes, and I'm gonna start back with my walking. I'm gonna do that walk the walk challenge by Shanique's Dream, and um, her channel link in description will be down below in the description box. Once I start that challenge it's been raining for a couple days so it's another reason why i couldn't go outside and work out because it's been raining so i try to do an exercise at home if i'm not too busy so i have worked out three about four four times within this four weeks process of me losing four pounds so if i could do it honey you can do it don't be discouraged. Keep it going. I need to give me a big water jug so I can start drinking the water jugs and stuff like that. I need to put more fluids. More fluids you take in your body, especially if it's water. Drink plenty of water. And I'm finna just start drinking plenty of water and less smoothie because I'm a smoothie type of flavory girl. So I was, smoothies are good, but make sure you, you implement water in your diet. Now, like you have urges for sweets, um, I eat uh, um, sweet and salty almond by Nature Bar, or I uh, eat a granola bar by Nature Valley. Same company that provides these things that I'm talking about. Um, I eat that once a day as a snack when I'm feeling hungry, because you know, we usually when we be hungry, I go get it, I eat a whole meal. And I stop that too, eating late. Um, if you eat dinner around five, if you're still hungry, but before seven, you can get you a snack. And that's what, that's what I eat, the little nature bar or granola bar. And cut off time for eating is at seven o'clock. I need to work a little bit better on that. Cause I feel like I could have lost more weight, more than four pounds. But, you know, like I said, I'm learning as I go. But, and if it's not a nature bar, I will eat an apple. Any fruits or veggies. Oh, I love me some broccoli. But now, instead of me sauteing it with butter, try doing olive oil, which I have learned from a family member. And I'm gonna start doing Weight Watchers. If you had tried Weight Watchers, let me know in the comments. Was it a good program for you? Have it? Have you lost weight from it? Or any type of program out there like Beachbody or what? Tell me down in the comments what helped you to lose weight and give me some advice of what I could do to implement in my diet and exercising or, or whatever, lifestyle changes, because I am with it. You know, let's go 2020 and I'm on this road of losing this weight. Right now I'm at 260. Let's get down to, I'll go back to the doctor on April 3rd. So let's get down to, um, I'm going to try to lose eight pounds this time. Um, I set the bar too high, but I'm trying to lose eight pounds this time. Let's get it. So 
Hope I'm motivating y'all and y'all could be motivating me too down in the comments. So don't be afraid to comment. If you're new to my channel, subscribe to your girl. Let's lose weight together. Also, turn on your post notification. Click that bell, make it turn gray. And feel free to share this video. Now, like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm not a coach. I'm just a regular, regular female that's willing to lose weight. And if you want to lose weight with me, let's go. Let's get it. We're doing a walk -a walk walk the walk challenge for seven days straight. And I will let you know how I feel. And I will be vlogging those walks too. So if you want to walk the walk with me, let's do this. Okay. Now, <laughs> I'm getting a little gangsta. But anyway, let me go ahead and end this vlog because I don't want to talk too long as it is. And y'all see me in the next vlog. Peace. <laughs> Love you.